Hello my dear viewers, welcome to today's message. Today being Tuesday, July 2nd, 2024 and the message is for all of us, for each and every one of us. I welcome you my dear viewers, I hope this message helps you understand what's igniting, what's starting, what is happening for us all so we are aware of what is um, coming, what is uh, important for us, you know, all the information that is relevant for all of us. So I'm going to start first with this deck, shuffling this deck. To get one message for all of us, I'd like to take this opportunity while I'm doing so to wish everybody today here the best of the best and um, a wonderful day and happy birthdays to those of you celebrating birthdays, happy anniversaries, happy occasions. I hope everyone, wow, look at what opened up, a beautiful card, the shower of abundance. I hope everybody gets this shower of abundance. <laughs> These are my blessings and best wishes for all of you shower of abundance in every area of your life not necessarily just money but in every area of your life so shower of abundance let me just put these cards somewhere like where here maybe Bear with me okay and i'll just go through it with you right it says i can't see it believe it or not now because the yeah okay now that's better it says to heal your financial situation first give us your worries concerning money we will guide you in order um, in order to show you how to create and accept abundance creating and accepting abundance believe me it isn't easy so many changes happen in your life when abundance comes as we work together your financial situation will heal as fast as you will allow it so just be aware and be um, mindful that there is a shower of abundance coming. I've been seeing this card. It's been coming lately and now again. So it shows something really big. A lot of abundance are coming. Let's take two more messages from this deck for everyone. And we have the flow. The flow is all about being in the flow of life watching what is coming being prepared for what's coming there's going to be a lot of healing coming to the collective there's a lot of success coming there's situations healing with partnerships also so that's really wonderful great news one more message for everybody and we've got power the year of the dragon for those of you who are born in the chinese year of the dragon there's a lot of power for everyone for the whole collective from this year 2024 it will begin uh, the year of the dragon and i feel like it's going to continue on um for perhaps you know a long time i also feel like maybe for two years it's going to go on we'll see as we go along i'm seeing you are going to be given the power an immense power to be able to do what you want the way you want freedom to the high level freedom from a lot of emotional sadness a lot of problems a lot of um, situations you're leaving something behind that's no longer working and you're empowered to move forward i do believe that chinese year of the dog here is very strong uh i also feel here chinese year of the um of the cat rabbit the ox the buffalo the snake are very strong here uh, i also feel like uh, there is going to be empowerment to be able to help you um, move forward from something very big okay so that's that one now i'm going to start with the tarot to see what our four messages for the collective truth now my dear viewers before i start i just like to make it clear about these messages here you have six messages these messages are for all of us each and every one of us you can however make them personal by nominating and questioning something asking a question nominating an answer from whichever pile you choose and uh, that way you are able to get an answer that's going to be personal and specific just for you so you've got six messages that you can do that with it's up to you when you want to do that when i start going through them i'll let you know i'm about to start which is going to be um actually i might take one or two cards of these tarot and then i will do it i'll take two cards for now so to give you time to think about your question or you can put me on pause and then unpause when you're ready so we've got the five of pentacles not a very good card not a very good message it, sh it shows some of you are feeling as though somebody's leaving you um leaving you behind and moving forward uh, and it looks like it's a situation where you're feeling left behind and as though like you, you know nobody cares about you you might be feeling that way 
you might be thinking of leaving someone but you don't want to leave them behind you could be in 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 turmoil about that but i do feel like uh, there could be a situation of money even standing in the way uh, leaving someone uh, in the cold at the time where they need you if they're ill illness sometimes illness sometimes lack of money but the good news is the next card that comes along which is the four of pentacles and the four of pentacles shows that uh, an ex unexpected large amount of money is coming maybe to support you at this time when you are feeling left behind so that works out really well you are taking action i thought i'll take two but i'll take four <laughs> you are going to be taking action some of you are taking action and leaving taking action and traveling this could be traveling but taking action very quickly uh, it is putting an end to a situation. I feel like someone is leaving quickly and it, it's something, a situation comes to an end very abruptly, faster than you had imagined. But something certainly karmic is coming to an absolute ending. That is incredible. Okay, let's have a look. What you don't see coming, yes, you will be grieving the loss of something or someone, rather. It's not something. They did leave, leaving, uh, sadly, not happy. But the good news is there is great happiness coming your way. There is a new beginning that gives you absolute prosperity and that's coming maybe to heal the wounds of being left behind. And if you are leaving someone behind, let's say you are, because this is for the collective, don't forget. So if you are leaving someone behind, I feel that there will be, it's a karmic ending and it was destined and there will be a lot of funds. Maybe you will support that person financially, uh, but there is a new beginning that's going to bring everyone a lot of happiness. So that's very good. That's what's coming. So now let me go through these messages. If you're not ready now and you still have questions or you haven't put your questions and categorized where the answer would be, uh, you can put it on pause now because I'll start now and then unpause it and you'll see the answer. So we'll start with the first one and it says we are one. I'll put it here. We are one. Don't let fear get in the way of this truth. Don't let fear get in the truth of this this is about a new beginning somebody starting a new beginning a new love life chinese year of the rat here people that have aquarius or capricorn in them uh, or you know dealing with the partner that has aquarius or capricorn in them a new beginning one month from now within a month i would say within a month actually i'll put this right here right now let's take this one now the fish this is about pisces People that have Pisces in them, have uh, Aries in them. It's to do with Pisces, very strong, connected to also uh, people who have Cancer in them and um, Leo. Wait a minute, sorry. Yeah, Cancer and Leo. Uh, the letter K for kiwi, kiwi fruit, kangaroo, kangaroo. We have the fish here, Pisces again. It's all about resourcefulness. It's about investments. It's about um propositions there could be some proposals there's money and income a lot of money comes when there's fish of course uh, there may be e-commerce you might be considering you know doing things with your finances multiplying finding new ways of putting your money into um, you know different investments large quantities of everything right so there will be a life of lavishness and and you know a lot to do with water so the star signs of water pisces cancer scorpio all of that but there is a large quantity and things are multiplying so if it's a business it's going to be multiplying there's freedom there is expansion there is success chinese year of the tiger chinese year of the horse and chinese year of the cat rabbit three to four weeks from now july all the way july and the the three four weeks of july they're going to be very important major changes and things multiplying which is really good actually okay so the next one here we have the victory victory in some endeavors but victory in everything i would say because we've got the v in some endeavors maybe not in everything maybe in some in some situations there'll be great victory we come to this one here we have the phoenix wow the phoenix is about death and rebirth starting over rising like the phoenix it's about also um, awakening it's about um, rising up from the ashes awakening like seeing things clearly uh, starting over transformations completing chapters and renewals renewal of chapters so uh, this is about freedom chinese year of the ox buffalo chinese year of the dragon chinese year of the horse connected to the letter a for alaska uh, connected to people that are Pisces, uh, Aquarius, people that are Taurus and Gemini. Connected to July, probably 25th of July. 
I would say. Could be two to five weeks from now also, possibly. Like getting into August even. But July is the strongest one here. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, we've got um, karmic ties. I'm not happy. Somebody's not happy of the situation there and of how things are turning out. Let's have a look. Could be this person that's been left behind. It says, I'm not happy. Karma or behaviors of people or situations are playing a role in what's happening with me. And it's hard for me to see a way out. Feeling stuck, feeling unhappy, feeling abandoned sometimes, feeling at the mercy of situations. This is to do again with number one. It's happening within a month, starting now, within a whole month maybe. Um, it is about perhaps needing a new beginning, a new beginning. So whenever something, is, that shows to me something is really ending and you're in the process of moving to a new beginning where you're not happy. Um, connected to people that have Capricorn in them or Aquarius. Connected to Chinese Year of the Rat. And within the whole month of July, all the way to August, I would say. The next one is the kite, vacation. Di directing your, your mind towards a vacation, where to go, planning or taking a trip. Because um, with the Knight of Wands, it is about taking a trip. Some of you could be traveling. Some of you could be um, planning a vacation. Okay. Now, my dear viewers, I'm going to take out three more messages. Bear with me. Okay. With this deck and let's see what this deck has to tell us i'll just put these glasses away now we want three messages for the collective enjoy a second here we go we have the queen of swords someone of air energy aquarius gemini libra the queen of swords is about the truth it is also about putting your emotions aside and thinking with practicality with logic to be able to survive what is happening Especially if you are going through a turmoil where there is an ending and there's a karmic ending, being left behind, being abandoned or leaving someone behind and being sad and grieving their loss. This is the time for you to be practical. Use intellect, logic and th not throw away, <laughs> but put aside your emotions. Sometimes, you know, when you are going through a lot of pain, putting emotions aside can do wonders. A lot of people don't practice that. They're not, it's, not, it's not easy to put your emotions aside, but it is very important when you want to um, uh, survive something or become uh, a warrior in your life, especially when there are bad things happening. So that's what the Queen of uh, Swords represents. Logic, practicality and no emotions and making decisions accordingly and healing yourself accordingly at the same time. We have the Hermit. This is connected to the to Virgo. It is also connected to September. It is also connected to a situation where you are contemplating and asking all kinds of questions trying to get answers soon you will have your answers very soon as soon as this situation ends you will have your answers okay one more oh my god the ten of swords again something abruptly finishes changes comes to an absolute end absolute end maybe it's all of a sudden it's coming to an end or maybe it's been long awaited now it's really reaching its end a karmic chapter ends that is truly magnificent in some cases, I know some people will be grieving the loss of this ending, but when it's a sword, when it's the Ten of Swords, it shows that, you know, it's the truth should have ended this some time ago. There it is, where you don't see where you're at is the Ten of Wands. This is suff it was suffocating you. And this could have been connected to someone of um, Earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or either, you know, someone leaving or yourself. Your Earth, there's Earth energy very strong here the king of pentacles virgo taurus capricorn end of a very painful chapter and for some for some of you and um a very harsh chapter is ending and you're starting a beautiful new chapter so there's also positive in this not just negative let's have a look at two messages oh two messages well we've got the two of swords and we've got the cup so the two of swords does show an ending of a chapter something ending some of you could be ending jobs it's also the truth that ends a situation so that you know whatever ending is happening here, whatever karmic ending, whether it's love, relationship, marriage, work related, friendship, whatever it may be, it is. it was destined and it was karmic. Now, there could be money conflicts. That's why we also got the five of pentacles, money conflict. Cutting corners perhaps, but then there is also great news, breakthrough, because the truth, the souls are about the truth. So there will be a breakthrough. You will go through realizations. There may be situations with lawyers, 
There may be situations where you may be fired or you might be uh, leaving something like you uh, cancelling, you know, uh, resigning or cancelling a situation. Maybe that was costing you money and you were not using. That's also a possibility. You're defending yourself. Some of you are considering jobs in the military, maybe in defense uh, departments in law and order. That could be also considered as a career when, when the two of swords, um, the golden one appears. And it does show an ending, you know, something coming to an end, which is exactly what we have here. A, a pure ending with all the tens here, tens of swords twice and the ten of, um, uh, ten of wands, end of something suffocating. Now we've got the cup. The golden cup is about overflowing prosperity, overflowing prosperity. It is also about a full or empty cup. Your accounts are going to be doing well. There's extra money coming. A lot of money is coming. And we've got the money coming here. Have a look. So unexpected amounts of money are coming. Unexpected amounts. So that is going to be very helpful. Maybe it could be a win situation because you have got victory and you've got the ace of cups uh, ace of uh, pentacles which shows the beginning of prosperity and the victory is about maybe winning something wonderful because this is ground changing money changes a lot of foundation changing you're able to pay off things you're able to buy your dream home perhaps you're able to do a lot um, buy your own business so there's um there's a lot of nurturing from the heavens you'll you'll feel that Taking care of business, some of you could be starting a business or taking care of your business even better. Being fulfilled, that's what the Golden Cup is about, on top of overflowing prosperity, being fulfilled. And it's also about jobs and counseling maybe, guidance, nurturing, being a life coach, doing all kinds of, you know, roles, taking on roles where you are helping people, whether it's work or otherwise, sometimes in families also. Let's have a look at two messages from this deck. So my dear viewers, as I was saying, I'll just take this one. Healing. Okay, there's a lot of healing going on. But just before I talk about the healing, when they said, when we were told um, shower of abundance, this makes it all possible. You see, everything coincides with this power. This um, shower of abundance, as you can see, I'll just put it up there, shower of abundance. And then you've got um, the money that's coming unexpectedly and over flowing prosperity altogether so this shows that there is something incredible taking place shower of abundance and wealth both together shower of abundance and overflowing prosperity and unexpected large amounts of money so just wanted to be wanted to make this uh, very clear um, another important one I wanted to make clear <clears throat> bear with me I'll just go through this being here and this being here was um, a union this union okay so it says look before i talk about the union it shows here that you your love life is going to be benefiting by forgiving and healing going through the process of learning uh, with family issues relationships healing and there could be a reconciliation at the same time it says someone from your past is returning into your life now this could be from your past literally or it could be someone from your past lives coming into your life here that is possible they could be Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Let's have a look at the message here for everyone. And there it is. It says, if you could do anything, what would it be? Ask yourself. The answer is within your heart, not in your mind. For the heart is the gateway to the soul. So, yes, when you are working with situations and dealing with problems, you use your mind and your intellect. But when you want to go deeper, when you're not feeling that happy, you can go into the heart and access your, your power, your soul, your inner gut feeling. And that will tell you why certain things are happening. Everything happens for a reason. So you just need to be in the flow of life. Know that you'll be empowered. There's going to be so much going on. And if there is fear, you needn't be um, fearful because the truth of the matter is you will be very happy very soon. Um, you know, you are one with someone. You are so united with someone. And that someone, is if it's not in your life, they're coming. Believe me, they will be coming. If it's your past past life person that you're destined to be with, they're coming. There will be a reunion. You just have to be a little bit patient and you'll see everything falling into place for you. Now let's clarify the cards. We're going to start with the Queen of Swords. And what is the Queen of Swords for the collective? Wow. 
the ten of pentacles, the ten of wealth, and the ten of fulfillment, cups and happiness and having your dream life. So it shows to me that the truth of the matter is you are destined for a lot of abundance and overwhelming happiness. You are destined for, for that. That's why we have uh, overflowing prosperity and that's why we have shower of abundance. Because you know what shower of abundance is in every area of your life, money and otherwise. Love, relationships, having your dream home, your dream life, your dream business. And the card of wealth, generation of wealth. And that's why we've got unexpected money. So there is, yes, there is a shower of abundance coming your way and showing itself in different tarot cards, showing you that you're getting the highest of the highest. Emotional fulfillment in every area, being in so much gratitude and so happy with the Ten of Cups <laughs> and um, the Ten of Wealth, of course, the Ten of Abundance and extreme money and unexpected money, life-changing money. So yes, there will be a shower of abundance, without a doubt. I should put this shower of abundance up here. <sighs> right, shower of abundance and abundance of prosperity, overflowing prosperity with the Ten of Cups, fulfillment in every way and extraordinary money coming unexpectedly for you. So that is all together showing you there is a lot of money and it's showing you also there is a lot of happiness. Um, the truth of the matter is that's why I said put emotions aside because things are going to be spectacular for you. This could be in connection to, again, earth energy. Someone coming in your life, earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, where you don't see coming. We've got the earth energy there. So that's wonderful. We understand the two things come from this truth. While you put your emotions aside, think logically, there's a lot of money coming and there's a lot of happiness. Let's have a look at the five of pentacles, you know, feeling as though you've been left in the cold and things not going well, illness perhaps. It's all happening because of the ten, you see. I'll talk about uh, the emperor in a moment, but let me talk about the ten because it has come up in your reading and all of our reading. That means the whole collective is coming to terms with an end, a very suffocating chapter. We got three tens of swords and one ten of wands. Suffocating ending, overwhelming karmic ending. Karmic chapter ends. Something karmic completely ends. Even if it doesn't end today, the beginning of its end is coming now. It's going to come to an absolute end. The chapter is its showing itself. Whether you see it or not, It's some of it might not be showing itself. But the truth of the matter is someone is leaving. They're leaving and something is ending whether it's you or the other party, whether it's leaving a job, the two of swords also leaving a job could be a job that was karmic. Something karmic is coming to an end. It's like something that maybe you were not fed up, but maybe situations were showing that it should have ended. Finally, it's ending. That's what I'm seeing here. So, and this is happening all because of a rebirth, a new beginning destined to happen. And also, um, I forgot about this actually. Right, okay, bear with me. This is where you don't see a great new beginning. You'll rise like the phoenix, just like we had the phoenix here. This is like judgment. Rising like the phoenix, starting fresh, a new life. Starting over for many, many people. Starting over, starting a new life. Those who are leaving especially. But um, uh, we were talking about the five of pentacles. And the five of pentacles leaving in the cold and being you know, left in the cold or feeling... Um, an injustice was done with you. This is all because something is coming to an end. And then it's after that you are going to be empowered. You might think this is happening to you, but it isn't happening to you. It's happening for you. You might not believe what I say now, but later you will understand. This is happening for you, not to you. And I feel like the emperor is going to be the magic of power for you. To live the life you want. To be in control of your life the way you want to live. And to have the power and control over your life over your journey and, and your destiny. So that's what's happening. You might not see it now, but very soon there'll be great news to tell you the truth. And that's why I said over here to think with your mind and put your emotions aside to be able to overcome whatever is happening because whatever is ending, it's ending for a great reason. Later you will know that I'm right. We can't have all these swords here and, and suffocation, uh, the Ten of Wands, showing that it was something just too much happening. It was just, maybe, you, you you know, sometimes we become comfortable in a situation and think that 
you know, somebody even might pass away here when we have a lot of Ten of Swords. There could be an ending like somebody passing. There could be somebody leaving or there could be a passing. But whatever happens, it's happening for your good because for the best of high, your highest good. Why? Because it's something that was destined to end some time ago. Let's have a look at the Four of Pentacles for the collective, this money. Uh, the reason I said there could be a passing because this, this is also this card, the Four of Pentacles, can be an inheritance connected to death. So now we'll just see what it says here. The Four of Pentacles shows, yes, this was something that uh, you were feeling probably guilty, sad, unhappy, anxiety, not sleeping well. All that is coming to an end after the Nine of Swords comes the Ten of Swords, which we have three of it here in your reading. I just showed you. And now it shows that that's over. You won't be crying anymore. It's over. You're, you're going to be prepared for a new beginning. A great new beginning that brings you a lot of understanding, a lot of realization, and a great victory. So that's waiting for you. And that great victory could be this money, because we're talking, we're asking about this money. A lot of money is coming. And that's going to put away the tears, and you are going to be very happy. Now let's move on to the next one. And the next one is, let's talk about the Ten of Swords. Okay, I'll put this here. I'll put the Ten here so we can work with the Ten of Swords and see what the, what is ending. What is the chapter ending? Of course, for the collective, we're all different. So different endings will be shown. But what the outcome is, is that you will have a lot of blessings pouring into your life. With the Four of Wands, you will be in gratitude and hooraying with your arms in the air, hooraying for all the blessings and gratitude. Extraordinary blessings happening, coming your life. So much that you don't even expect and some desired uh, matters that you wished for. And the Two of Cups shows that you're not going to be alone. There'll be someone by your side, someone from the past. From, um, from the past is coming. Could be your soulmate, could be someone from the past. They're uniting with you and you're becoming strong together. There's a lot of strength together. So whatever is ending, it's bringing you abundance of joy and someone more wonderful, more connected to you to heal together and to grow together. Not to mention one of your wishes. One of your oldest wishes is coming also right after leaving and grieving someone so it's happening at that time after grieving someone now let's move on to the night of the night of wands and we've got the devil something excessive too much is coming to an end you're taking action in that regard let's see further being unhappy putting an end to a situation that was unhappy there's the two of two of uh, you got the two of swords and you got the two of swords and the gold ending of a chapter that you were not happy that had reached to an end and it was just making you miserable. That's why you had sleepless nights. It's coming to an end. It was just too much, maybe too much control, too many problems, and you're leaving. That chapter is leaving you. Finally, let's have a look at the hermit. There's Virgo involved here, very strong. We've got earth energy connecting to Virgo. It could be connected to Taurus also and Capricorn, without a doubt. There it is. The question is about, is it the right thing to do to go? Yes, it is. You're starting fresh, a new love, a new life, a new project, starting fresh, moving on, leaving because there's something wonderful starting. So all the questions, all the questions will be answered by someone taking action. And this someone could be in regard, again, to the truth, someone being pointing them to the truth. Again, in their energy, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. But um, that puts an end to that. That explains everything. Now, my dear viewers, you have an idea of what's going on. Let us see two messages from the, um, I was going to say from the chocolate factory, uh, from the cookie jar. Let's have a look. Sorry, from the Chinese cookies. Okay, so we got jealousy. It says, watch who you trust with your personal secrets and plans. Spend time outdoors in nature to reconnect and replenish. But be careful of trusting whoever. Don't just trust anybody. It says wisdom. To focus on the past is to lose the future. So those of you who might be crying about what's ending, you will lose the future. That's why the Queen of Swords came to saying to you, in order to heal, put your emotions aside and think with your mind. To focus on the past is to lose the future. Listen to advice from an older person, which will allow you to move on. If there is someone old letting you know, otherwise I'm probably the old one, Letting you know to move on from emotions. Put them aside. Let the past go. Think with your mind, with your intellect, with logic. Be practical and you will survive this. This is the best surviving mechanism. I've used that always in my life. To be emotionless when it comes to situations that are very painful. 
and there's a lot of injustice you can't be overwhelmed and not be able to sleep and make yourself sick when something is ending because it's destined to end so what you do you put your emotions aside use your mind your intellect your logic to be able to be a survivor that's the only way to be a warrior and overcome any kind of obstacle to be able to move on to the next level when you move to the next level then you can bring your emotions and try to deal with them that that time it would be easier because they won't be as painful and as severe as they may be at the time where the ending is taking place. So please take that into account. I wish you abundance of blessings in this reading. I can see the whole collective. Each and every one of us is going through this in some area of their life. Whether it's a family one, family getting very sick and passing, whether it's a relationship that is so sour and so difficult and overwhelming, but you know, you're know you used to it, it's comfortable, and you don't want it to end. It's like you're losing someone wonderful or best friend, even though there's a lot of reasons why it should end everybody is going through this somehow and some are more severe than the others but the fact remains that it's a karmic chapter that has to end and there's no no doubt about it when they take it out twice to me to for me the heavens that's what i asked them when they take it out three times and then bring this the wands it shows it was suffocating in the situation even though you were not perhaps some of you were not aware and they were so immersed in the situation not knowing that it was really hurting you and you were not happy but you were just surviving it and you didn't want it to end because it was a comfort zone so my dear viewers all of you i wish you the best in this process this is a very harsh process remember the only way out is to be emotionless not emotionless you can't be emotionless but put put them aside use your mind and be practical so that you can be helping yourself to reach to this new beginning because ultimately what you have coming is spectacular whether i whether we like it or not look what's coming have a look at this we've got happiness all over ten of cups fulfillment we've got wealth we've got a lot of your wishes and dreams coming true and wealth everywhere money coming from all everywhere but also happiness happiness is coming in every possible way it's coming you are going to be fulfilled you are going to have your dream life you are going to meet someone magical that's going to give you a spectacular new beginning of love new beginning of happiness new beginning of reconciliation where's the two of cups someone wonderful that you're growing all together or you're holding hands and moving forward you're not alone everything shows that things are going to be great they're not going to be the way they are something is ending because something more incredible is coming more justice is coming your way and that's what the queen of swords is all about and that is the end of your reading i wish you plenty of happiness and abundance health and wealth I do hope you support me by seeing the video all the way to the end. That's the best support you can do for me. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. It means a lot to me also. And don't forget, if you want to tip me, please click on one or two ads and just let them run. That would mean the world to me also. I wish you abundance of joy, blessings in everything you do.